Hello and welcome to Let's Create The Photography Show. Normal, I'm going to just go straight into this. You refer to yourself as a normal guy, and 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 I completely get that. But for me, yeah. you, you're easy to get along with. And you, to me, this. to me, it all started with with Lady Bauer. Um, I know it weren't your first videos, and I think I was getting into landscape photography in a big way when I, I found you. Right, and it, it was Lady Bauer um, when it was snowing. Oh, the mad one. Yeah. I remember, I remember that video, yeah. yeah. And that, that, for me, was the start of the, the trees as well, because it was tree shots you got by the stream that goes into the res. Yeah, yeah. If I remember, remember rightly. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah. when all this madhouse is over, and I mean yeah. proper over, have you thought about doing a study? Because to me, that place is synonymous with you. Right. It's a place that's close to your art, I think, isn't it? It is. It is. It's very much so because it's it's very close to where I live. It's just literally over the hill. And it's also, I grew up in a place called Glossop, which is just yeah. over the hill again from uh, Lady Bower. So I spent a lot of my childhood with my family walking around Lady Bower Reservoir and Derwent Reservoir and then Howden Reservoir, which is just above. And it's got a lot of history as well which I've not touched on that much with yeah. the videos I have done, but obviously you've got the Dan Busters who yeah. trained uh, uh, on, on the reservoir towers yeah. to uh, learn how to sight in and stuff like that. And then uh, when it was actually being built, um, there was a whole almost, it wasn't a city, but it was a, a, it was a town, a tin town that was, was built. And yeah. all the remnants of it are on the left-hand side as you walk up and they had hospitals, they had schools, um, and they had six or seven hundred houses that were, were were built to build the actual reservoir itself. And, and the funny thing is, I also did a video from Bowl Hill. Now Bowl Hill, yeah. that's where the um, stone came from to build. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm talking about the stuff you've got. In question. You're answering two questions here. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's where the, that, that's where the stone <laughs> came from to, to yes. actually build, build build the dams. Yeah. which is absolutely fascinating for me. It so is. when you when you're walking along and whether or not it's Bow Hill or whether or not it's Lady Bow, when you're walking along, it's steeped in history. Steeped it, in so history. you can actually it's almost sinking into you yes. when you're there. Yeah. Now, when you a little bit it's a little bit different when you've got a vlogging camera because uh, oh, how do I explain this? When I'm taking photographs without the vlogging camera, it's literally sinking into me, it's leaching into me the history. Um, and the reason I take pictures is to get away from the stresses and strains of everyday life. Yes. Because it's meditation for me. And I was actually thinking about doing a video about mental health, but not talking about mental health uh, in why do people take photographs? So I take photographs to literally switch off. So when I look behind, and I've said this before on previous vlogs, when I look behind the camera, I'm thinking nothing of nothing but what I'm looking at. And, and and when I'm looking at that, um, the whole atmosphere of the place, it, you can almost hear the soul speaking to you. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And, yeah. and it's just like you realize that all the stresses and strains of real life are actually very transient because we're not here that long. So, you know, I've mentioned it when I, I spoke about Bowl Hill, and I'm probably you not did. here to interrupt me, but... No, no. <laughs> Bowl Hill, uh, Quarry... Yeah, 16 or 17 people died at Bowl Hill Quarry. It was full of people. They've all gone. So all those people that were worrying about what they were going to eat and what they were going to do the next day, they've all gone. And, and what that does is it chills me out because I realise, you know what, Paul? All these trees that I'm looking at are going to be here long after I've gone. <laughs> you know, yes. I'm, I'm 50 yes. next year. And, and, and if I live for 20 years or 25 years, those trees are going to live a lot longer than I am. Than you are. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, wonderful, wonderful, absolutely wonderful. I, I, I can totally connect with that because I was at Thirlmere before all this happened, um, the third one. I was at Thirlmere getting really excited as I do. And there was this big realisation of where I was stood. There was houses, there was walls, there was boundaries. And it felt quite um, uh, melancholy. It felt, it quite, felt quite sad. 
I felt, I could feel it. I put the camera down and I, I went to take a picture of these silver birch that were flooded in, in Thirlmere itself. And I need to go back and finish this. And uh, I could feel the, the presence of the past. And uh, it's quite reassuring. And the short space of time, which is what I was meaning with Lady Bower. I think what it'd be wonderful if you did. Um, no, I'm not telling you, you know, or anything. Or I just see it. I, I already envisage you walking around there and telling us yeah. about it, whilst yeah. almost documentary style. Yeah. Not yeah. so much. This is a photography vlog, but uh, I, have you heard of a guy called Oh it's Dickinson? He did. He no. went. He went down inside Lady Bowers. I've seen him. I didn't know his name was Dickinson. He went in the tunnels. Didn't tunnels. He? He and, the, uh, and, yeah. and he talks like this, and you can look here. You can see hundred years ago where they put stone. Yeah. Do you know, but there's something. He so gets a lot of views as well, doesn't he? Engaging. Yeah. It's yeah. very engaging. Yeah. And, yeah. and 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 I'm going to jump a few questions. Ball held the ghosts of the past. That was really. I really enjoyed that. And that wasn't that long ago, about a year ago, I think that. It was a year last December, yeah. I yeah. So. yeah. And I think emotions and... So I, I need to jump back. We'll come back to Ball Hill because okay. it does join in, but you're a huge influence for many. And I you think... think what so? it's, yeah. Mm. Massive, massive right. influence. There's not many right. folk I've spoke to who say Paul Johnson. Like first is watch, it, is it not <laughs> talking? I know, but <laughs> who do you watch? Who did you first watch, Paul Johnson? It's interesting that you're saying that because there's lots of people that um, contacted me, like I'm saying four four years ago, yeah. and um, asked me how you got into vlogging and various other stuff, and then they vlogged, and then when they've said when I've seen them either on their vlogs or um, on social media. They've all said Thomas Eating. <laughs> they never said oh. Paul Johnson. <laughs> it doesn't bother me at hey. all. You have. You have. Oh. But it doesn't bother me at all. But I stood it's interesting on that. because I stood on that hill at Anglesey. Yeah, um, I saw that. Yeah. And I, I, and yeah. I, I got pulled over at calls for that off Gary. He said, What 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 you mentioned Paul for? I said, oh, Gar 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 Gary contacted me. <laughs> you mentioned Gary Goff. Gary contacted me and said the, the inspiration for me vlogging was you. Yeah. Me, <laughs> yeah. you know, so yeah. it was, so, you know, yeah. but that, I'm not, I'm not blowing me on trumpet there, but what I'm saying is, is I'm surprised, I'm surprised that, that, that you've had the feedback that people are inspired. For, but that's but, what's wonderful yeah. about you, Paul. Yeah, yeah. Is, is that's why I've called you the photographer's pal, because right. you're not... I don't get it. I never have done. I've no, never got it. No, I, I, I'm struggling with it. I'm struggling with the fact that people say things to me. I don't yeah. quite get it because I'm just being me. I think yeah. some people might think I'm fake because no, I'm enthusiastic. You're, it, it, you're the least fake person that I've met, to be honest. Uh, Adam Adam Carnatch is also a really genuine bloke. Yeah. And you, you meet, obviously, as you're coming along, you meet people that are genuine. Yes. And you always have been. Um, um, but your driver has never been fame and fortune, Molly. Neither is mine. You know, no. when I did my first vlog, I never expected anybody to watch. If people go up, they can see me somewhere riding mountain bikes yes. <laughs> with, with my mates. Yeah, so that's right. I've never, I've never expect, I never expected anybody to watch. And when you watch my very first video, it's absolutely appalling. <laughs> but all I'm doing is, is I'm going along uh, with a mate taking yes. pictures. Uh, yeah. uh, and, and it wasn't well. I've got to make sure that the lighting's right, and I've got to make sure the videography is right and the audio is right. Yeah. I just went out and did did what I did. And I think that's lucky that people 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 enjoyed it. Yeah, and still do very much yeah. so. Yeah, very yeah. much so. I bet you're the I only so. vlog. You're the only vlogger who can take a, a break. <laughs> <Well, yeah. laughs> and then other people would be called watch. I mean, I do. I, I, I'm, I'm really honoured. Excuse me. I'm really honoured that um, you know I can go away for three months and then I get four or five thousand views. Yeah, that's that 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 to me means a lot yes. because uh, how can I explain it? When the reason I went and did the job I'm doing is because I wanted to help people and I get a great buzz, not from an ego point of view, but actually no. helping people. There's a point and to so it. So I, yeah, and when I go out and do my videos, and that's the reason that 
even after I've taken a break for personal reasons, I've done it again. It's not because I'm thinking, you know, I'm going to be the next Tom Eaton or the next whoever, um, or the next uh, what, whatever he's called, the, the, the videographer guy. I can't Peter remember McKinnon. his name. McKinnon, Peter McKinnon. I don't want to be that. Um, I, I could pack up my job and I could, I, back in four years ago, I could have really pushed it, but it was never my driver. And I've always said that. It's that I really take um, a great, um, who's that? Say hello. Sorry, it's the wife. Paul says bye bye. Uh, I didn't want to stop you there as well because it was fantastic what you were saying, but actually, I've completely gone now what we were on bye-bye. about. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. I've yeah, got a clip. We can't. We can't rewind. So no. <laughs> I think I I've just said... think we were, we, we were talking about um, being genuine. And yes. That's... All I'm. All, what I was saying is, is I get a lot of pleasure out of the comments, and you know, it's yes. people that from with a lockdown point of view i mean we, we've talked about lockdown but there are a lot of people a lot of older people that don't want to go out and yes they said i've been watching your videos in the past and i get a lot from them and, yeah. and that I, it, it's like when i was talking at bowl hill when i'm at bowl hill you might have felt it at Thirlmere, i get tingles mm-hmm. up the back and it's the same at Lady Bower as well. Yeah. And when I'm reading comments and people say, you know, really enjoyed your video, and I'm in Kansas or I'm in yeah. <laughs> Timbuktu, <laughs> I get I get tingles, and it's not from an ego point of view. You just think, no. you know what? Maybe that video has actually helped somebody along, and uh, and they've got a little bit out of it. And and for me, that's the buzz. But yes. it's not. It never has been an ego thing. Same yeah. with the photo nerds as well. When I was talking about the nerds, it, when I did the nerds, um, it, it was never an ego thing with me. I just no. enjoyed three people. So we're talking about Adam, Gary, and myself, and then it was Adam. And it was Gary and um, Gareth. Yeah. Gareth and myself. Yeah. Uh, that was just me and three blokes having fun. There was no ulterior motive at all other than just the three of us having fun. Very good point, that. Because are you yeah. going to come back with it, do you think, or is it done? I don't dusted? think so. I don't think so. Unfortunately, it was always um, uh, the brainchild of myself and um, Gary. Uh, no, Adam. Adam. Uh, we were in, um, uh, we're at Brothers Water in the Lake District and was chatting. Right. So it'd, it'd be great to do a podcast. And, um, you know, the two of us I said, but maybe it'd be a good idea as well to get a third person. I said, what about Gary Goff? And I, I, I'm good friends with Gary as well. So we, we, we um, Adam said, yeah, that'd be great. And we started doing it. And then commitments from Adam's point of view time. meant that he, he, from a time point of view, that he, mm-hmm. he, he couldn't continue. And I was a, a real. It was a real difficult thing for me whether or not to carry on because I thought the dynamic of the three of us was great. Yes, and it was Gary that said, "You know, why don't we carry on?" I'd, I'd hate for it to stop. And uh, I said, "Okay, then." And he mentioned Gareth, and I said, "Yeah," because I met Gareth at um, the um, uh, meet, meet that we had with myself, Adam, and that's right, Gary. Yeah, uh, and, and Gareth's a brilliant, brilliant guy, and and I thought, yeah if we're going to carry on he'd be a good fit but the problem is is that gareth lives in wales south Mm. wales it's ours he's got a young child and him to come up and do it or us to go down there and do it was uh difficult to say the least uh and then gareth got um uh, um sorry lockdown came along yes and then (laughs) it was like either do it via zoom or not do it at all and so it just petered out and uh, uh whether or not we can pick that up again i don't think so because of the geographical difference and i, w- I would hate to do it with anybody else other than gary and gareth yes. because we started out uh, or we didn't start out but we continued yes with the, with the three of us successfully so, yes yeah well Good. yeah it was uh, uh, and it was just gaining traction yeah when the whole lockdown thing uh, petered out and then it was like um gareth says we'll do it via zoom and i, I thought well with the fact that Adam and, and 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 it was the three of us, and then it's it, it's petered out. I maybe left it to to die as well. We were texting yeah. earlier, weren't you? And you you yeah. watched Joe Rogan, hadn't you? Uh, yes, yes. Yeah, I I find his um, uh, uh, podcast absolutely fascinating. Yeah, he's a lot ruder than I would be. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and he smoke he smokes more uh, uh, <laughs> stuff that we're not allowed to smoke in this country than I would do, <laughs> uh, but. I just love the naturalness yes. of 
is podcasts. Yeah. And what I'm loving about talking to you is if I was going to do a podcast again, Marley, yeah. this is how I would do it, the way yeah. you're doing it now. Oh, no wow. no um, um, side to you and just a natural chat with different people. Um, so like the thing that you did with the, with the podcast, but with different guests. Yes. You know, and just yeah. like Joe Rogan does. So it's it doesn't a bit matter selfish not. on Absolutely. my part. Yeah. I, I'm loving this. This is yeah. very selfish and indulgent for but me. I think Joe Rogan's get... the same. Yes. I think Joe Rogan back in 2011 was the same. Yeah. And the people, if you watch his old stuff, um, it, it was anybody or anybody in his mates. Yeah. And then as he got more and more popular, yeah. like Tom Hanks wanted to do it. And I know. Uh, Brian Cox wanted to do it and yeah. you know Graham Hancock wanted to do it so yeah. you know but when he first started it was just his mates chatting yeah, it was you know and, and in a mate, dingy room as well all all oh, just absolutely. whacked out weren't they just yeah. having a laugh and talking open-minded yeah. talk as well yeah, yeah. exactly but he's never invited me no. <laughs> <laughs> we should both get on absolutely have a dupe <laughs> photographer's power well joe rogan's not watched <laughs> uh, guys he's he's a powerhouse isn't he what he's oh, doing he's, now how he's flitted he's, to spotify and it's not changed him he's, he's still very, the same he's so clever though mm. because when he's talking about stuff so we talked about covid which hopefully you'll edit and make sure it doesn't look too bad but yeah. uh when 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 he was when he talks about anything he'll have an opinion yes but he doesn't ram it down people's throats. No. And, uh, and I love that about him is that even when he's got people that are completely off the wall and talking about crazy stuff, yeah. he doesn't say, well, that's absolutely stupid and what you're coming on here for. He doesn't put anybody down. No. And I think, I think in life, if you can do that, so obviously when I'm vlogging, I'm not trying to belittle anybody when I vlog because that's not what I do in real life. And and and, and, and Joe it, Rogan, I'm talking about something yeah. completely How different. How would you all? <laughs> ah, Joe, he's 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 really good at um, p- putting people at ease. Yes, and not coming like one upmanship. Well, I'm better exactly. than you. Or, yeah, yeah, and that's what I love about him. Yeah, yeah, it's magic for watch. Love it. Yeah, love yeah. it. He, he he has this going to Spotify. It disappointed me a bit because I used to like watching him rather than is listening. He- is he mm. only on Spotify now? He, he puts 10 minutes, he puts three 10 minute clips on YouTube. Right. And then he says, ah, if you go over to Spotify, but when you go over right. to Spotify, it's just audio. And he's pushing right. Spotify to right. let have a video part of it. And I believe right. that they're working on it. They're trying to create Spotify with video. So I, that, I, I listen to him on Spotify. And, yeah. But when, because I'm listening to him when I'm doing work elsewhere and my phone's in my pocket. Yeah. But when I pick it up and look, then they're talking on it. So I some, see some are, video, some are videos. Yeah. It, right. I don't know whether it's a licensing thing or what. I'm not sure. Some are videos, but the majority I've noticed are just, uh, it's just talk. Um, right. So it's a bit, it's a mixture. It's a yeah. mixture. Let's get another question what, here. Let's get know, another question, I, I was just going to say just something, lo- though. Go on, go on. Sorry, Paul. Go on. <laughs> no, I was just going to say, go uh, I, want, I wanted you on the Photo Nerds. I wanted you, you I'm, know, remember I texted you? I remember you. asking, yeah. Yeah, and I just wish I'd have pushed it further. That's all I'm going to say, because you are so natural doing this. You're the new Joe Rogan. Give over. <laughs> You are, man. Get you are. You're, you're so natural. Give and over. You put people at your ease. So go on, ask the next question. Well, bloody hell. That's, That's it. We're bullshit. done. See you, Paul. That's not bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting yeah, that cracking. in, by the way. You're cracking, man. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, that, that's that. I can't get. I, I can't. Right, I can't get that in my head. So I'm going. <laughs> I'm just going to ignore it for now and then pat myself okay. on the back after. Good man. Um, I've watched you again. I've watched. I've watched you yesterday, but I do watch you a lot, Paul. Don't don't set that weird. <laughs> <laughs> I wondered who that was looking through my window. <laughs> uh, I, I can't. I can't even get the question out now. After I said that. Um, you mentioned about you. You had some winners. Lady Bower Reservoir Bridge. Uh, every photographer goes and tries to get that shot that you got. Yeah. Uh, do, it's a wonderful shot and rightly so to get that. And I have actually sat in your ass crack area, I think. 
I positioned right. myself in the same place and thought, that's Paul's, and moved. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because I could see your shot and thought, I'm never going to better that. And I went up the yeah. hill a bit. Yeah. And it was crap. So right. you, you've got that <laughs> shot for me. That yeah. It's yeah. exquisite. But you, you mentioned about winning uh, competitions. Do you enter competitions? But have you considered doing any? No, no, I've never Let's entered get photographer um, of the year. The year, I never have, never entered it. Um, and because I think landscape photography of the year, and I've spoken to people that work with landscape photography of the year as well. Yeah. And it's a lottery. Okay, they've got yeah. to go through fifteen yeah. or twenty thousand entries, and it's click, 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 and uh, it's a very difficult thing. Um, uh, for them to do and my <laughs> when i mention competitions I, the, the competitions that i'm talking about are online competitions and uh, uh I've, I've put stuff into the, the uh, telegraph and, and and the times and they've been featured right. yeah, yeah yeah so i've never earned a lot of money and i've done stuff with viewbug and stuff like that yeah uh, uh so the, the viewbug is was we're talking was. four years ago yeah. uh, was a great platform Mm -hmm. because it was peer reviewed so when you mm -hmm. put an image up yeah. all the photographers voted you or didn't vote you right mm -hmm. and so uh, like you mentioned the lady bower shot the lady bower shot i can't remember i won the tripod or a monopod or something through through viewbook it yeah. wasn't a set of four um judges uh deciding who's a good photograph or not yeah and like the royal photographic society of what is a good image okay mm -hmm. it was other photographers we're talking thousands of other photographers yeah. and that image got twenty four thousand votes and wow. i won the competition on on that um uh, now if you look at that lady bower shot that lady bower shot works because if you turn it upside down yes. it looks exactly the same, same. because yeah. we had the symmetrical circles of, of the lady bower shot now yeah. you mentioned lady bower and the viaduct when I looked at uh, where I could shoot, because I always look for different places, and I mentioned this on the podcast, I don't like uh, uh, bucket list shots. It's not because there's nothing there's nothing wrong with taking bucket list shots at all. But w when I go out and photograph, I'm just looking for something a little bit different because mm -hmm. uh, uh, my um, uh, photography is not necessarily train spotting type of photography. Now, I'm not calling people to do that, but I don't think, oh, well, I'm going to go to the boathouse and, and take a picture of that uh, Owls Water. It's just not, yeah. not my bag. Nothing yeah. wrong with doing it. When I yeah. looked at um, Lady Bower, when I went on Google, there were about two to three images yeah. of the viaduct at, at Lady Bower. I was talking four years ago. Yeah, and I thought yeah. that that could make a really interesting shot, and I kept going back and coming back and going again, and thought, no, it's not quite right, it's not quite right. And then when I got there that day, I thought to myself, this is going to make an interesting shot because the water level was just low mm. enough yeah. to make those circle, um, uh, circular reflections. Yes, and I set myself up, and and I thought, yeah, it looks looks good in camera. It might not be perfect, but it looks good in camera. There was another guy who was further down on the left-hand side taking images, and he left. And I thought, well, I'm going to stay for another 10 minutes. And then 10 minutes later, the sky lit up. Bang. <laughs> Took three images. Wow. Walked home and thought nothing of it. Yeah. Got home and said to my wife, what do you think of these? And my wife is my greatest judge. She'll either say, I like that or I don't like it. Yeah. And she looked, uh, and she's awesome at that. And I looked at it, and I said, what do you think of that image? She said, the colors are gorgeous, but have you seen what you've got here? She says it's almost perfectly symmetrical. And I thought yeah. well, I was trying for that, but I didn't realize it. She said, turn it upside down. Turn it upside down. I couldn't see a difference between the two. Wonderful. And she said, that's a special shot. But yeah. a little bit of luck. Very much lucky that the, the light came and the poor guy who left, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. you know, 10 minutes yeah. before he'd be kicking himself. Yeah. And that light lasted for about a minute and a half, Ooh. literally, and then disappeared. Uh, 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 and then obviously the water level was right. Yeah, and um, it wasn't a popular image to take, and now oh. it's got a little bit more popular, hasn't it? Search, search on Google for that same image now. Yeah, yeah. So I, I remember seeing that, and then it was six months, maybe ten months after I went, and it was my birthday, second of November. Just so you can get me a card. Okay, I'll buy you one next time. <laughs> and I went for get that shot, but I couldn't find anywhere at park. So I went down to the bottom end and parked at the main car park where the overflow is. Oh, that's and, a long way away. Well, I thought, I'll walk. It's not far. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I walked all the way around to get to yeah. the bridge and down to the spot where you took the shot. Yeah. I was so jiggered. Yeah, and yeah. I thought I've got to still get back to the car yet. I know, I know. I did yeah. all the lady bower on that <laughs> day. <laughs> the key to that shot is to get there. That if you're going the summer, is to get there about five thirty, six o'clock. And yeah. there are two little uh, park There's car two... parking bits on the left. And that's where that? you sit. Yeah, but well, you I'm... mentioned you you yeah. mentioned going up the hill a little bit, right? Yeah. And this is where I get influenced and inspired by other people. I, I, I can't remember the guy's name. Uh, I can't remember, but people, if you go further up, yes. uh, up the hill, yeah. there's a gate, right? Yes. And you can shoot uh, the viaduct through the gate. Yeah. And I think, oh, what's she called? You know her, the blonde haired girl. Oh, Lynn Luxon. Lynn, she shot it, right? Yeah, sure she, she did. And at yes. the right time, yes. that's going to be an awesome shot. Now, yeah. I'd yeah. seen Lynn Lux and Jones shoot that. That's right. <laughs> and, and, and I see this other guy who I can't remember his name shooting. And I thought, they're great shots, but I'm not yeah. going to go at the same time as them yeah. to shoot it. And this is what I'm talking about, bucket list. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They've done yeah. that. Yeah, <laughs> you know done. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah. And then I thought to myself, because it's snowing, now somebody's going to go this weekend and get the shot. Yeah, yeah, but because right. it's snowing, <laughs> that would make an interesting, slightly different shot for me. It would. Picture and, uh, more and, picture and, as and, possibly. And, yeah. uh, unfortunately, because of time over the last couple of weeks, I've not been able to do it, but maybe I'll go yeah. Saturday morning. Uh, yeah. This will maybe have gone out a long time after that. So oh, this will probably be in a month's time. Yeah. Absolutely. So that that would, that would you see, that's what I'm saying. Is I'm not calling people for taking bucket list shots. So if you no. get, if you, I've seen a couple of awesome shots of the boathouse at Allswater. Yes. That are different. Yes. The same view. And, and um, what's his face said this? Um, Ansel Adams. You can yes. sit in the same place and get different shots. Well, if you get 100 shots of the boathouse at Allswater and they're all the same, well, it does nothing for me. It doesn't float my boat. But if you get a different shot with fog or with mist yeah. on the water or different yeah. light, or you do it in black and white, or you do it high key, yeah. that excites me. And that's yeah. what I'm saying. So the um, high shot at Lady Bower yeah. with uh, the gate doing something different than yes. the awesome John Lynn did, or yeah. the other guy who I can't remember. Andy Sheeder, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah Andy it's, not him. it's not him. Not uh, him it's no. somebody, somebody... I'll remember it. Hopefully yeah. it'll come back to me. But, you know, but they, the, those, it wasn't Lynn's shot that inspired me, but I saw it. It was this original guy that I can't remember the name of, uh, uh, but I thought Lynn's was awesome. Is that, I thought, I thought, I want that shot, but yeah. I'm not going to go and do the same shot as Lynn and the other guy. I'm going to wait. But you've remembered you know I mean? it. That's the key as well. I have a little notepad because my memory, I'm like a goldfish. <laughs> so I'll look forward to seeing that when you, because you've remembered hopefully, it now. You know, hopefully. You, I mean, it's like it's like the, the video I did about Creepy Wood in the yeah. snow a couple of months back. Yeah. I'd envisaged Creepy Wood in the snow for yeah. three years. <laughs> and, and I think we go back to uh, Mr. Yeah. Baxter and his dog, Meg. He says, well, um, and I'll look at a shot and think I'll go back three years later. Now, I'm not as uh, um, uh, uh, particular as, as Simon is. I'm just not that disciplined. And I think he's amazing to be able to be that disciplined. I'd get bored <laughs> yeah. to think, well, I've got to go back in three years. But the more you take photographs, the more you, you, you jog them into your memory or you put them down in a notebook mm -hmm. and yes. then you can go back. So I thought creepy wood when in winter, if the snow hits, it'll be great. Yeah. And I went and it, that, that, that shot that yeah. I took that in the, it almost looked black and white. Uh, I don't know if you remember it. It was yeah, yeah, yeah. just, a, a, I was freezing. I'd not yeah. got, uh, gloves on the dogs were shivering i went out and it was a two second shot and i came back oh, out, and, out. Yeah. and i thought yeah i've got it yeah. don't need to do anymore lovely absolutely <laughs> gorgeous i hope i'm not talking too much Molly. here <laughs> no not at all not at all that's what that's what we're here for i, I, I don't, just no, sit and I'm listen sure. to you and just sit and listen to you paul i'm sure i'm sure adam gibbs didn't rub it on as much as i did he did un an hour and 40 minutes paul did he <laughs> what are we on uh we're an hour, hour and five, so you tell me bad. when you want me to off. I'll be here all night. Oh. <laughs> Enjoying this. <laughs> well, if I put a two-hour hour one out, there would be no problem there. I'm sure most, <laughs> yeah. most people will only skip ten minutes. It'll work for Joe Rogan. <laughs> <laughs> he does He does like three-hour podcasts, doesn't he? does, he? yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I, 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 I personally listen to think, him. 
if, if, if I think that this is what I was saying about you, Molly, right? If you can get traction with this, is people will find it interesting. People will find it interesting. Yeah. You know, it doesn't even have to be specifically photography led. You can talk to people that run businesses like, I don't know, Camera Jungle or yeah. whoever else they're called. It's a good idea, talk to that, those yeah. people. You know At the I mean? minute, it's heart dri- it's heart driven. It, it's people I want to talk to. So Nick yeah. Livesey was a, a gentleman I've spoken to already. Uh, I've got a couple of other people. I'm not sure yet. I put that message to you and I deleted it because I thought I might be talking out of place here, and I wouldn't want right. you to think wrong of me because Why? I'd mentioned a couple of names. Right. But they they were up for it. One right. gentleman. He's, he might not do it now. Right. I'm a little bit gutted about, but at the same time, I understand it's yes. fine. It, it's fine. Some people don't want to, some people do. And, and it, even I, in some cases, like today, we're, we're talking. I've a raft yeah. of questions here, but we're, we're just going off now. It's well, fine. Go, go, go through the questions. But I'm, not, I'm, but I'm conscious of thinking about things as well, that this, it is selfish, this, for me. Mm. And it's lovely to hear you because I am a fan. But there are people want to hear you as well, Paul. So do you know what yeah. I mean? It, it is it is a very... Um, it, I, it, I'm getting into this. <laughs> good, good, good. It, thank um, you I, very much. I, thank don't, you. I, don't, I don't understand why other people want to hear me prattle on, but I, I, I do appreciate it. I'm humbled, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. I really am. And I said to you, I'm humbled that you even asked me on. Uh, yeah. uh, um, you know, I, 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 I'm grateful that you've asked me. But, you know, I don't understand. If you've invited people, and this, you may want to cut this bit out, but why wouldn't people want to come on? We're in lockdown, so they can come on and chat. You know, uh, they might not want to because they're they're embarrassed uh, and the, it's not the norm. I think it's a bit of yeah. I, think I can it's understand nerves. That. I think I can it's understand nerves. nerves. It's not can, it's not anything else other than that. No, um, but I think I, I think as long as it's not like the bigger names that say, oh well, I don't even know. What no, but is, for so you to say on. I'm relaxing when I'm. The, the, hopefully, where people watch this, might think, you know what, it's chilled, it is laid back. I'll go you on. Are. I'll come you, on, you know. Yeah, so. I hope so. So if anybody's listening to this, come and speak to Marley because he puts you at his ease. <laughs> I don't do out, right. no. I'll just have a cup of tea and, and talk bollocks for two hours. <laughs> Absolutely. Why not? <laughs> so does Joe Rogan, but he's smoking something. He's, yeah, he's, he's, cup of he's tea, like is that, isn't he? Yeah. 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 I also, right. as well, I, I have to be aware that this this is our low budget we are here, Paul. Uh, I can't have my battery plugged in for me camera and me recording because i get feedback on this mic so That's if there's fine. any companies out there want for give me a road mic right Felting. Yeah. get 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 my own mic i'll send you mine i don't use it <laughs> <laughs> oh it's daft isn't it the things uh, you go through i'm reading on internet how do you stop feedback it, as it turns out it's the case of the laptop right it's not um oh what did it earth not earthed or something right so it causes a buzz it causes a bit of feedback anyway i digress right. i'm on to, I'm, I'm on to it here now because philosophy yeah spirituality yeah and deep meditation or meaning in your photography yes when we start off i think we're like headless chickens we're just running around we're just blah, 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 you know we're besotted with visual element and that transforms if you like it become you transcend into something else it becomes quite um, deep rooted in your soul the history like you say is a routine but I, I don't even know what the question is but I feel yourself taking images it's more than just photography and yes. and and where do you feel it's going the transcendence where I've mentioned about competitions, but to me, uh, I don't really need goals, but Mm. I want to create beautiful images that Mm. I love. Mm. What do you do yourself? Where's it going, Paul, yourself? It's deep. It's a deep (laughs) question, isn't it? (laughs) the, the, The image at the end of the day is not important for me. And, and 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 hopefully I think that'll come across when I'm talking is that how can I explain this a lot of people who take photographs get really disappointed when they come back home after three or four hours at the Lake District and they're not quite happy with the image yeah for me it's not 
about the image. It's not about winning landscape photography of the year. Yeah. It's not about being Thomas Heaton or whoever else. It's about the journey. Uh, uh, you mentioned meditation. It's yeah. about the journey. When I go to Lady Bower and I walk past uh, 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 those rocks that have been hewn from Bowl Hill and built to the dams, and I think about the Lancaster that Lancasters that flew over, I'm soaking up history, mm -hmm. uh, and it's the journey of getting the image that's important for me. Don't get me wrong. When I take a picture from a little bit of an ego prick point of view, and, um, uh, and my wife says, that's nice, <laughs> that's good, but it's not yeah. a big deal. So the images, I'm very selective about the images I print. And those images that I print have to mean something to me not about getting the picture. I hope this is coming across right. Yes. Not about getting the picture. It's about the journey connection. of getting the picture. It's the connection. People mention, yeah, people mention stories mm -hmm. when, when they talk about photography, and I, I never understood that. So me neither. It, it, when they say, uh, mm -hmm. I want to know the story behind the picture, and somebody says, well, this tree is kissing the other tree, and uh, they're intertwining, and it's a family. I don't get that. But I do get when they talk about the story, well, I went out and it was a freezing cold day and I had an argument with my wife and my kids were giving me grief and I thought I'd go and go out for half an hour. And I went out into nature and I completely unwound and I, 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 that location meant something to me. And then uh, I was out with the camera and I took a picture and I can remember it. I mean, a really good example is that when you're a kid, right, uh, your parents will have taken a picture with an instamatic, right? Yeah. yeah. The picture of the instamatic, the, the photograph didn't matter. It could be blurry or it could be faded over time because we're now getting old, so most of those paper photographs are blurry and faded. You look at that picture and you say to yourself, oh, God, that brings back memories. Mm -hmm. That's the key. And when when I did I did a shoot at Oldswater, and it was at dawn, and I got a nice purpley blue picture of Oldswater. Yeah. And I'd spent the day before with Adam, spent the night in the van with the dogs. Yes. Got up at 4.30 and took pictures. And I said, this place reminds me of music. So uh, I was born in the 1970s and I grew up in the mid, late 80s. So there's certain music in the mid to late 80s that uh, younger people would think was crap. But I listened to that music and it takes me straight back to the Hacienda in Manchester in yeah. 1987, 1988. That Oldswater picture will take me straight back to having a great day with Adam Carnatch and yes. spending the night with my dogs. Yeah. That's what the images for me are about. Yeah. And then obviously it's the meditation of actually taking the pictures as well. I, I kind of have that feeling and it's right at this point in time. It, what you've just said is quite interesting that I'm going back I'm upstairs in the cupboard. I've got all my mum and dad's slides when we was kids, Kodak slides, the little white cases with a blue lid with a hole in, and you can put the yeah. slide in and hold it up to light. And right, I've got a I remember. case yeah. filled with those from 1975 yeah. to 1984. And I'm going How to old are you, Molly? I'm 47. Right, so two years younger. 73 yeah. I was born. So I'm going to do a yeah, vlog. Yeah. I'm going to do a video on them. Mm -hmm. I bought a Kodak Instamatic 33 for, for five quid. Yeah. Only this weekend, gone. And yeah. those connections to the past. But I do also see the battle in the trees and the story in the trees. Your golfer. Yes. For instance. Yes. Yeah. I do also the, see but, that. And, and it's wonderful. I mean, the thing is, is maybe I don't, um, uh, look at that because that's not what I'm looking for but I yeah. don't discard because I mean if you look at for example B B Baxter, Simon Baxter he looks at stuff as regards trees that he's seen year after year and he sees a relationship with those trees because he's okay. got an affinity with trees yeah. stunning, stunning stuff yeah. but that's not what I look for but when when I saw the golfer I yeah. saw a golfer. <laughs> the fallen um, tree as well, where the other yeah. tree you'd held. The, Ab absolutely. Wonderful. And I saw that, but 
I think it depends on the mood at the time. Yeah. So if 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 I'm feeling melancholy because I'm missing my dad or yeah. I've yeah. got problems with my mum and yeah. I'm there and I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, you know what? It's like when you saw the emotion at Bowl Hill. I was feeling particularly emotional that day and that's the reason I went out and took the pictures. Yeah. And I'll be honest with you, the number of vlogs that have ended up on the cutting room floor because they were more for me personally than entertainment value. Yeah. Uh, I just thought, you know what? There's no point. There's no it's point. It's a good point, that, though. Yeah. Entertainment value. I don't yeah. think of that. No. Sometimes I'll go out and I'll think I'm not... I just do something. But it's a good point, that, Paul, because you, they're personal to you. Yeah. I think I think what it is is that I got to the point at certain, certain stage in the vlogging that my... How do I explain it? My... Um, personal life was impacting on the vlogs and so what i didn't want to do is it's very easy to emotionally put onto other people and that might be work it, it does work but you don't want to see me week after week saying oh god this is terrible oh this is awful oh i'm really struggling yeah. it, it doesn't it does because what i'm trying to do with my vlogs is i want to be me and people to see the human side of me but I don't want to bring people down. down. I don't want them yeah. to, to watch yeah. week after week after week and go, oh, God, he's moaning again. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> We're all having problems, Johnson. Yeah. What, what yeah. are you complaining about? <laughs> I'm not going to mention any names. There are a no, few, know, there are a few yeah. out there. <laughs> there are. There are. And it's, get, it's, it's, it's getting more. I think lockdown's affecting people more and more. But getting to the point where I'm thinking, you know what? You're doing this for a job. Enjoy yeah. it. Yeah. You know, yeah. you're earning, you're earning a living from doing it, doing some and you're magic. still getting fifty thousand views a week. Enjoy yeah. it, you know. Yeah, don't yeah. Get stress. Don't, yeah, don't stress it. <laughs> maybe yeah. that's youth. Maybe that's youth, Marley. Because yeah, as you get be. older, you realise. Yeah, it. yeah. You, nothing, nothing matters. All that stuff. It nothing doesn't matter. It How makes it very that? hard to do a job, though. It does. You've got it? people who it does matter, and you're matter. sat there going, yeah. "I didn't put a capital T." What's your problem? Chill out. <laughs> what what age what age were you when you realised that? <laughs> Not that long ago, I don't no, think. Well, me either. I'd, I'd say I was about 42, 43. And yeah. I realised, you know, yeah. actually this this is all, I don't swear on camera, but this is all BS. Yeah. <laughs> I just thought, you know what? And now I find it very, very difficult. Obviously, in my job, I've got to be professional and I yes. always will be. But I'm thinking, actually, yeah. I've got 20 years left, maximum, maybe 25 in my life. What am I doing? Yeah, well, that, <laughs> I, I can't think that's, take it that, that seriously. Yeah, that's very... That, 20 years isn't long, is it? And that's, I think, I think I, when you're talking lucky. about... <laughs> if we're lucky. And then we're, that's what about the COVID thing. You know, mm. I can understand that people are scared. For I you. can really understand it, but 0.01% of anybody under 50 is going to die from it. And if you do yeah. die from it, it's tragic. But yeah. don't let it... Ruin your life. Rule, because rule your life. Yes. Rule, ruin and rule. Yeah, real, yeah. Because yeah. because we've got to we've got to make the most of everything. I started thinking it, it was a bit bad for a spell because I, I kind of went through the stage where every day I was going to die. Yes. <laughs> I don't know why that happened. And you know you know what, Marley? You are. <laughs> but yeah. you're you're going to be very unlucky uh, to yeah. die from COVID. But yeah. if you do and your family's affected, and I've had. Um, um, friends whose family older family yeah, it's very sad have been affected my mum's yeah. 82 and she's got dementia she's had covid and she's got she had a history of tb she had t tb in her when she was in 1952 when she was 17 18 got through it no problem and i'm not i'm not poo-pooing it there are people who are getting very very poorly with poorly, it but yes. you you can't stop your life no, no. <laughs> uh, because of uh, uh an illness you know what i mean yeah. because i mean we, we digress because we've gone back to covid but you know life is short <laughs> and, um, yeah. and we, we we as human beings we take ourselves too seriously yeah and if you if you if, i don't know if you uh, know who carl sagan is and yes. he's um uh, yeah if you actually he, he, he talked about um a picture that was taken by the uh, satellite that's flying off out of the solar system now, what's it called? Uh, Voyager. I can't remember the name. Voyager. And it showed uh, the Earth as a tiny dot. And he yes. says, all of history, everything everything that you think of is in that tiny dot. Yeah. Now that tiny dot, <laughs> with the trillions of, uh, the trillions of, of stars, I should say, billions of galaxies, 
Yeah. And we're worried about Paul Johnson <laughs> going out onto a mountain and yeah. taking a picture because COVID is going on. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally, totally with it. Totally, it matter. Kelly. And and Paul yeah, Johnson's not going to be in twenty years. <laughs> that yeah. mountain still oh. will be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and it might be a bit taller as well. Absolutely. That's, I was about, Did you? I was watching a, a, a documentary by um, Terry Abraham. It was only the other night. He's, yeah. he's, they put two out on Blencathra. When you yeah. think about that mountain, how it's risen up in that particular area, because yes. it's almost separated. All right, there is some big fells. You've got skidders, and, and behind yeah. it, you've got, uh, I can't remember the name, you've got a, a, a few fells around it, but that mm. is quite on its own. It's mm. yeah, it's such a, a romantic place and mountain. It's that, so do you rate Terry again, you know. Sorry. You rate Terry Abraham? I do, yeah. I think Isn't he's he awesome. I think he's uh yeah. he's somewhere else. Long, long yeah. before I got into doing photography on YouTube, I was always taking pictures. Yeah. Uh, I used to wild camp, still do, but a lot less than I did do. Because I'm getting older and your bones creak in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Terry Abraham uh, is one of my major influences uh, to go out and, wow. and photographs not because he takes photographs but because he got me out wild camping and getting those special images yeah i think he's an awesome guy and yeah. i used to actually um, um converse backwards and forwards with him wow uh, uh, not as a friend but you know on, yeah. on on social media and stuff and the great thing about terry is is he'll always answer you i know yeah yeah he's yeah. an awesome guy he's a fantastic gentleman and the, those videos he's done of the late district are just oh. Just amazing some, aren't they? yeah there's something to cherish and keep forever mm. like something and i don't know how say. i don't know how successful he's been commercially but he's never followed right i'm going to start a youtube channel because i want to make money he's yes. done the stuff and then and then his, his videos or his, his 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 films were at local cinemas in in, in the Lake District, yeah, uh, and obviously he's done DVDs, and I'm sure the stuff's yeah. online at the moment. But his driver has never been commercial. I think his driver has always been the I love. Think of... That's very important, and he, he's inspired me quite a lot of of late as well. Mm. Hence why mm. I mentioned him because we're kind of. I'm back to that headless chicken again with YouTube. I'm just making stuff because I'm there and I can and I'm having fun, and I yes. don't take it serious. But yeah. there's a part of me is thinking you need to do something here that's creative and pushes and we're getting a bit serious then and then it's not about putting some out every week which i don't anyway but yourself you mentioned before do you think you'll make some kind of documentary or so would you would you be keen on that um i'd be keen on it from a creative point of view Yes, yeah, from a creative point like of view, like Terry's done, and, you know. Yeah, but not a commercial point of view. No, right. no, no. So, I don't mean so commercial. I mean, I mean it, something it, that's to you from the heart. Yeah. Yes. Uh, maybe uh, when I retire or uh, yeah, uh, when yeah. I've got more time. Yeah, uh, but that that would have to be driven by a passion, not for any other driver. Exactly. So at this moment in time, I think, I don't know Terry's personal circumstances, but I, I presume Terry is, is 110% into that type of thing. Mm -hmm. I've got a job uh, uh, that's not that, I can't do that. And yeah. also I've got my children as well. Yes. Uh, but yeah, I would. But, um, but you know, on the flip side, I'll be honest with you, if, uh, because people have, uh, uh, or, or when I watch myself, uh, uh, this will prove popular or not, because he's not a popular guy, but... I, I I I I see myself when I watch myself on videos as a mixture between Jeremy Clarkson, Rob Brydon, out of uh, what do you call it, and Alan Partridge, all moulded into one. <laughs> right <laughs> now, if if somebody somebody at uh, some um, Netflix or Amazon Prime or BBC or whatever came along and said to me, you know what, we watched you on YouTube and you, you you're unique and we want to video it. I wouldn't be averse to doing that because that would be fun. Yes. <laughs> I wouldn't yeah. want to sign a 10 um, oh, uh, no. contract uh, for yeah, doing that's... that. I would want to do it for the fun as soon as it's not being fun. And, you know, when we set up the nerds, I said to Gary and uh, Adam, I wanted it very much in the Top Gear-esque of uh, fun. Yeah. Because those guys yeah. earned an absolute mint and that wasn't the priority for them, I don't think, at the beginning. Maybe no. It was. But... They had fun making it, and 
if yeah. I did anything. So you going back to the Terry Abrams thing, I would yeah. want it to be fun. Yeah. And yeah. So yeah. if the BBC came along and said, Paul, you're amazing and we want you to be the next uh, Ali G, <laughs> <laughs> then I'd, 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 it'd have to be fun and, yeah. and it would have to uh, uh, stoke the coals from a, from a personal point of view. Life on a reservoir with Paul Johnson going, well, Alan, 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 Alan. <laughs> or is it Brian? Yeah, yeah Brian, Brian, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I think I'm, I'm, quite, I'm, I'm, I'm quite astute as to, uh, from a, uh, um, uh, an empathy point of view, I know how I come across on video. Because <laughs> my yeah. wife won't, won't let me feel anything else. You can't else hide who you are. Of course you can't. It's wonderful. No. No. I love you, Paul, and I love Thank your videos, you, and you've been Thank a massive you. inspiration to me. Cheers, buddy. Really have over the years. Thank and um, Thank you. There's, there's not a moment where I go out and I think, you know, this is done for a reason. This is do- It's all just happening. It's a million miles an hour. And every now and again, you'll pop in my head and think, don't take it too serious. I you think, I think if, that, if that comes across to people, He's what worries me about YouTube and the stuff is that people worry when they come away and they don't get the shot. <laughs> yeah, it's, not, it's a photograph at the end of the day. Yeah, you know, nobody's going to yeah. shoot you. We're lucky we live in an awesome country that nobody's going to put you against a wall yeah. and say, <laughs> Marley, you've taken a bad shot and shoot you in the head. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, it's it's got to be fun. And it, and, yeah. and you know, if it's if it, if it's no longer fun put the camera in the cupboard and go and take up golf or do something. Well, my fishing tackle's in there and my golf clubs are up there. (laughs) Hopefully one day I'm not hanging my camera up because I think it's the one thing that have stuck. It's it's, I've got got to say, mate, is that looking at your recent stuff, not that your old stuff wasn't good, but looking at your recent stuff, when you you have um, put that emotional thing behind it, your work at the moment is absolutely stunning. Oh, it, give it, I'm not blowing. I'm not blowing hot air up your bum. Yeah. Honestly, I'm looking at your stuff and thinking, you know what? He's there's something subtly changed with your pictures. Yeah. Not that you weren't good before, because you've always been technically good. But I think that emotion comes out in people's yeah. photographs. I, I think it, yeah. it naturally does. Yeah. And you know, um, when you're taking pictures, and I'm seeing the story behind the pictures, but I'm thinking, you know what? They're they're great shots. Oh. I think wow. it adds an ex- it adds the icing on the cake. From yeah, a, from from, uh, from a got to uh, work uh, hard for it though, aren't you, Paul? You you do, but don't come easy. I think, uh, uh, no, but I think that's when you, when when you're at one with the landscape, right? You'll spend that extra ten minutes when that squall comes through. Yes, where uh, and, and and the golden hour is is ending or uh, uh, the light has faded. Yeah, and you think to yourself, I'm not here to get the image. I'm here to soak up the atmosphere or to remember my dad or my mum. Yes, and I'm I'm going through that process in my head. I'm not going at the moment. No, then you get the shot. Yeah. Yeah. So the number of people that say to me is, uh, oh, I watched your um, video and I can't believe you were out in those conditions. Yeah. I wasn't out in those conditions to take an image. I was out in those conditions because I needed to get out and then I happened to get the shot. And that's, I think that's where you get that little icing on the cake. Wonderful insight. We're going to end it there. I'm not, cool. although we're going to talk, no, no doubt, but we're going to end it there because we've been at <laughs> it for an hour and a half and I've got, I've got to edit this and it's been, <laughs> <That's all right. laughs> it's maybe been we need absolute... episode two, Molly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be grand. Yeah, I'll, be I'll, do an episode. I'll do a second episode with you. Oh, no fan- fantastic. I, I, I've got, I, I've only got to the... Have you? <laughs> <laughs> Halfway through. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck it. It was great fun. Thank you very much. See there.